It's really quite amazing how we've been deceived. And it's not because we're gullible. You know, it's not because we're stupid. It's not because we're, we're dumb. It's, it's, the reason why we can be deceived so easily is because we are trusting. We have a trusting nature. It's not in our genes to lie to people. You know, for most of us, it's not in our genes to deceive our friends, to deceive mankind, to deceive anybody. That's how we are taken advantage of. And we're not gullible. We are just trusting. We have a trusting nature. We believe that everybody is like us. And we believe that our leaders, the rulers of the earth, are there for our best interest. We uh, vote for people that are politically correct. When they talk, you know, they are so sincere. Tears even come out of their eyes. And we believe them. It is our nature because we don't have it in us to deceive people like they do. We don't. You know, I can say that our politicians are excellent actors, right? But we don't see them as an actor. You know, we see them as people like you and me. That's what they count on. It's easy to manipulate mankind but then we have the flat earth we claim that we want truth but yet the flat earth is oh man you know that's crazy huh? you know we don't even look into it we call ourselves truthers right we want to find the truth about what our government is doing about religion we want to find the truth of who we are and why we're here and where are we going we want to find the truth about our creator and we start peeling off layers upon layers of concepts of religion peeling off all these layers that keeps us from really seeing the truth the veils start falling curtains start opening and you begin to see that's what taking your discernment means. Is, is you throwing everything that you've been taught out the window and looking into it yourself. Anti-prophecy is the serpent seed plan to keep control of the earth for the next thousand years. They've integrated their plans on the Bible so that we think that's supposed to happen and no. You know, we need to snap away from that. Because believe me, we are taking our earth back. We are awakening to the fact that we are being deceived on all fronts. They'd like us to think that the earth is round, right? and that we have access to space and that there's billions and trillions of you know infinite galaxies out there and that there's life out there they like us to think that the sun being 93 million miles away from the earth how about 3,000 miles you know how about the sun being no larger than 40 miles wide don't pay attention to the sun having clouds in the front and having clouds in the back. Don't pay attention to that. It's a mirage. Those clouds that you see going behind the sun is your imagination. It's not really there. Same with the moon. And there's clouds in front of the moon and, and the, all of a sudden there's some clouds going behind the moon and you can see it. Don't look at that. That's, that is not true. That's a mirage. It's your imagination. You're seeing things. The camera is lying to you, the telescope is lying to you. Because the moon is 237,000 miles away and the sun is 93 million miles away. You know, you have people that have been going on social media 
as exposers of deception. But yet when it comes to the flat earth, no, we're crazy. And then they go full blast on full blast mode against it. <laughs> and I'm glad they do because they're exposing themselves. They're totally exposing themselves. You have people that for years and years and years give you updates and they're doing you a service. They're telling you watch out for this asteroid is supposed to come around because according to this application here it's gonna have a close rendezvous with the earth they sound the alarm and, and it's great I really appreciate them and I'm not talking bad about them but there's gonna come a time that they're gonna have to look at the flat earth and they're gonna realize that they've been had that they've been deceived okay we're going to find out who is really working for the truth. Who's the real truther? Who's the real poser? That's what it's coming down to. People are going to expose themselves. And that is great. I kick myself for not looking into it before because it makes total sense. It goes along with everything that I've been researching. It makes total sense coincides with the new world order deceive the masses to discredit our creator I mean it, it just totally fixed perfectly I am I am amazed I am thankful that I looked into it and all of you out there that are researching and putting out videos I want to thank you don't give up we need the ammunition and the ammunition to take our world back is you throwing everything that you've been taught out the window and looking into it yourself you see we know right from wrong we know what righteousness is we know it's wrong to take advantage of people we know it's wrong to poison people we know it's wrong to steal from people we know it's wrong to to be this disrespectful to the one that loves us, to our parents. We know righteousness. And every day, from the time we're, we're born till the time we die, we, we have a choice to abide in righteousness, to abide in Him, because we are born in His image. And we have a Creator whose love for us manifests in what He has created for us. But the serpent seed wants to keep you on the book because then you judge everybody by the book and we judge each other by the book all those who abide by the letter judge the world by the letter all those who abide by the letter judge each other just look at how many religions there is and we are divided exactly what the serpent seed and the powers that be if you choose righteousness then you see the good in everyone when you abide by the Spirit when you abide in his righteousness you see the good in people and that was Jesus Jesus gave us that perfect example he could befriend anybody we are awakening to the fact that we are being deceived on all fronts they'd like us to think that the earth is round they like us to think that the deception is deep my friends 